Good morning, Acts Church. Hey, it's August 18th, and I want to share with you this morning just a few thoughts from the one you're reading uh, in the Old Testament uh, this morning from the Book of Esther. So today we started the Book of Esther. Now, the Book of Esther is a really important book um, sp for us as believers of the Messianic community, um, for us to understand. It really paints for us a good picture or validates uh, what is going on behind the scenes. Now, you know, the book of Esther, you know, for, for Jewish people is a very imp important book. Um, in fact, one of the Jewish minor holidays is about this book, Purim. This is the festival when they celebrate God's deliverance from wicked Haman and uh, his plans to destroy the Jews. But what Esther does is it, it reveals to us um, or just confirms or validates the behind-the-scenes battle that is going on between good and evil. The battle that is going on between God, the Father, and the fallen angel, uh, Satan, and the demons, and uh, this battle that is raging. And really, so much of the battle that's raging spiritually is about Satan and the end outcome for him, like his destiny. We know from the book of Revelation what the destiny is of Satan. But up until the time Jesus came, well, you know what Satan knew was this. He knew that a Messiah was going to come, a Messiah was going to be born, and this Messiah, <clears throat> according to Genesis, would uh, crush the head of Satan. And so imagine if you're Satan for a moment. You are, um, man, You God has spoken and said that, hey, there's going to be a Messiah. He's going to crush your head. Um, if you were Satan, what would you do? You would try to destroy any chance of this Messiah being born. Well, we know that all these prophecies start happening. So prophecies are, you know, God speaking to man and, and man declaring. So in other words, a prophecy is God's word. So prophecies start painting a picture for us and giving us hints of where is this Messiah going to come from? So, you know, we know he's going to come from Abraham. Uh, then we know he's going to come from Jacob. He's going to come from Israel. And uh, we know that eventually there's prophecies that he will come from the line of David. And so Satan is always at work trying to destroy any chance of... Um, these prophecies coming fulfilled because if he can stop the prophecy, well, then he can stop the Messiah coming, and then he stops his head from getting crushed. And so throughout history, Satan has been trying to stop this prophecy. And so specifically in the Old Testament, you know, if he knows that the Messiah is going to come from the line of David, if he's going to be a Jewish person, then what um, Satan is trying to do, he's trying to kill all the Jews, because if he can destroy and kill every Jew, well, then the Messiah can't be born and God is a liar. And so Satan gets this plan, and it says that, you know, you guys hopefully read the story this morning. You know, Haman is filled with rage. And the guys, this is a demonic rage. I believe personally that really Satan entered Haman. And, uh, you know, Haman is just offended because Mordecai, this one Jew, won't bow down to him and honor him. But what Haman's plan is not just, hey, let's kill Haman. It's let's kill every single Jew in the world. Let's kill every single Jew in the nation. Let's destroy them all. Well, that is, you know, that's not normal, right? One person offends you, so you kill and wipe out a whole race. Guys, this is demonic. This is part of that behind-the-scenes battle that is raging, that's going on, where Satan knows his, his, what, his demise is coming. He knows how it's going to come because God has spoken it. And it's going to come through the Messiah, which is Jesus. And so uh, Satan is trying to do everything he can to keep Jesus from being born. And so he wants to, to exterminate, to kill every Jewish person on the planet. And the reason I think this is important is we need to understand there, there's a shift that happens in the New Testament and that, that better defines the battle that's raging now, but it's still about Satan's, uh, the end outcome for Satan. And, uh, but it's important for us to understand what's going on behind the scenes so that we can understand our purpose, also so that we can understand what our perspective needs to, ha that, that, what our perspective needs to be. So I'm hoping as you're reading scripture and as you're reading the book of Esther right now, you're beginning to see, you know, that there is a battle raging and you begin to find your place in this battle. And how do you align yourself with the thoughts, the heart and the purposes of God, just like um, Esther and Mordecai did in order to see God's plan fulfilled? You know, it's, it's, it's kind of like this. Satan makes a move and God counter moves and God's counter move always just, you know, Satan would be so frustrated because he always comes with the plan and he gets this plan into action. Like, man, Haman actually talks uh, the king into to signing this decree that every Jew will be killed. And so, so Satan's like, man, finally, like, I'm going to stop the, the Messiah from coming. And then God just counter moves. And God obviously has, is all powerful and Satan's not. God has all wisdom. Satan doesn't. God can be anywhere and Satan can't. And uh, God always counter moves and God is always victorious. 
And so, uh, man, it's important that we understand the behind the scenes battle that's happening. And I hope that helps you as you read through the book of Esther this week. All right. Bless you guys. Love y'all. Have a great day.